Oh my god. Is this going to be death? What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die single player Let's Play. Last video, we took on the day 105 horde out and about, running around uh, this entire town pretty much. If you guys missed that video, you should definitely go check it out. This video, we are going to be pursuing life in the big city. We are going to be moving to the hub city. So, if you guys enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So, I got something to bring up to you guys before we get going. My mini bike disappeared. Okay? I actually went as far... I thought maybe I left it out in the world, so I went as far as to change some XML file stuff. And I, my mini bike now shows up on the, on the map. But this mini bike is one I made today. I, I just crafted this one. Uh, you can see right here, that's what it is. I got all this stuff in here. So I lost my mini bike. I lost whatever was in it. I don't think there was that much in it. Whatever. Uh, it's going to happen. Early access. But I can now see my mini bike anywhere on the map. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I, I went ahead and I've got a lot of iron in here. Uh, we could turn these off and bring them with us. We're going to take a bunch of this iron. What I'm... Oh, still got some more iron coming out of there. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to I'm going to give you a quick look around on what I'm taking with me. To the hub city for the first trip. I will be making multiple trips, but not like right away. Uh, so that's what I got my mini bike. This is what I got my inventory. You know, should be pretty interesting. I should probably get some more barbed wire made. I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do when I get to the hub city is I'm gonna look for a place to live. I've got a place in mind. Um, it's like uh, I forget what it's called. I think it's called the governor's building or something. I forget what it's called. But um, I do have an idea of where I want to live in the hub city. And uh, it's, it's a relatively small building. I'm going to restore it. I was debating actually rebuilding it with the blocks that the building was originally built with. But with, you know, the block durability I have on and no, not allowed. Although, all right, I have a no repair thing in this base. But I, I might get rid of that for the Hub City build. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, I'm going to leave it on survivalist difficulty i'm gonna leave all the difficulty settings up the only thing is i might allow myself to repair during the night or maybe not maybe i'll just not even worry about it and if the zombies break in they break in i don't know we'll see i haven't really thought about i really thought that far ahead so got some stuff there i want to make room for one more thing because i do want to bring a forge with me uh what can i get rid of we've got some forest ground here because i do want to make i've got more forest ground being made in here because i do want to make a farm when i get out there uh you know we don't need two stacks of clay Maybe we do, but not right away. And the reason I'm getting rid of one of those items is because I'm going to take my trusty wrench. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and eat that. I'm pretty sure we're hungry. So, num, num, num. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. And we're going to take this forge with us. Oh, my God. It's going to take forever. Why don't we hit it with the pickaxe? Hopefully, this doesn't destroy it. Pretty close. Pretty close. A little bit closer than I would have uh, liked it to be. But, you know, we got it. We got the forge. So... Go. All right, guys. So the hub city is right over here. I'm gonna pause the video and drive there, and I will see you at our new home. Man, this bike is fast. Sheesh. Got a purple engine there. It's like a 350, or, or I'm sorry, a 550, something like that. Oh man, this thing's just flying. All right, guys. We're not quite at the hub city yet, but I did bring back the video because I wanted to discuss something before we get there. Um, I know some of you guys were perplexed, upset. I'm not sure what I'm not sure what your what your uh, what your emotional you know feeling was about me leaving that base, but some people were and understandably upset. I knew this was going to be a, or whatever. I'm just curious, I guess. Uh, I, I know so, I knew some of you were going to be upset that I was leaving that base. Um, here's the deal. I keep saying upset. I don't mean upset. I don't know if you're upset. Um, some people were voicing their displeasure at me leaving the base. And I'm not sure if they're upset or if they're just curious or wondering or mad. But their basic idea was, and I, I agree, um, they're like, you built this epic base and now you're just gonna, you're just gonna leave it. Why? Well, for me personally with Seven Days to Die or anything really with any of these games, it's not the destination, it's the journey. The fun part of these games is building up the base. When you've got once you've got a ridiculous base, like I'm not just gonna like live there and like just <laughs> you know just sit up in the in the war room with my imaginary friends and, and plan stuff. Uh, there's not much to do at that point. There's little little you know uh, touches, little little things I could do to to finish up that base to touch it up. But honestly, I kind of got the idea that most people watching were kind of oh my god. Is this going to be death? 
If this isn't death, then you can't die. Wow, that wasn't even close to death. Holy jeebus. Woo! Evil Knievel into his ass. Man, I thought that would, I thought that would kill me. I'm kind of surprised. But anyway, uh, now I totally got off track. Okay, anyway. Uh, the, the, the point is, people were wondering why I was going to leave the, the base. And the, the, the thing is, there's nothing left to do there. It's that simple. There's nothing left to do there. All right, I think I'm going to stay right there. Hold on, let's run over this dog first. Eat it, Fido! Hold on, Fido. I'll take care of you in a minute. I see where I'm going to live, by the way. Oh, I hate you, Fido. Whatever. All right, this is where I'm going to live, right here. This is the this is the building I wanted. All right. All right. Now we're going to have to do some battle, people. This is the this is the city. This is the hub city. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go upstairs and make a chest, a drop-off chest, and a place for us to go to stay for the night. Um, not that it's you know close to the night, but we got to be ready for when uh, darkness arrives. So let's go ahead and put some, we're gonna put some wood planks down here. We're gonna get up there because I know there is a nice place to live up there. Uh, I stayed in this building with Partially Royal and Star Snipe one one season when I was playing with them. It was uh, it was a pretty fun season. We got we got a lot done that season. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff up here. We have no room for it. Let's just drop that. Bring this over here. You don't want to build too much up here where I am right now because it can collapse been known to collapse uh there we go i really want to lose that stuff all right so let's drop everything off we can in this chest. actually we could probably just drop most everything uh, i'm not i'm not even going to set anything up i'm just going to go down and start um looking around and building uh we can hold on to this stuff i don't need that or that or that uh, that's pretty good. I'm not going to be doing a lot of looting, so we don't have to get rid of a lot of stuff out of our inventory. As a matter of fact, one thing I do want... Um, oh, that's right. It's all on my, my bike. All right, never mind. All right, so let's take a look down here. Let's start making some plans. I did not bring a shovel. That was a mistake. Um, that was a real real mistake, actually. Um, eh, whatever. We're not going to need it right now. Anyway, let's uh, bring this out. Now, I can make this stone... But the problem with this stone is it's only 3,000 hit points. And at 50% block durability, and if I decide not to let myself repair, you know, it could be a it could be a big problem. I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna rebuild it out of the actual stone. I think I'm gonna rebuild it with cop with uh, concrete. Alright, where'd I put my bike? I should probably get the bike off the main road. Actually, I don't think it'll be a problem on the main road. All right, where was it? It was over here, right? There it is. All right, so let's come on in here. Let's grab... Oh, I do have the rebar frames on me. Okay. We got that. We got that. That's good. Uh, let's, let's actually, before we do anything else, let's start putting down spikes. I think that would help us the most. And we have everything we need to upgrade spikes. Not a ton of stuff, but... What was that? Okay, nothing. Yeah, let's just start putting this stuff down. All right, so, all right, so what we need to do is we need to get the spikes up first, and let's upgrade them as well. Ugh, do I have? I do not what I I do not have what I need for a claw hammer. I didn't bring my nail gun. Oh my god, I knew there was a lot of things I was forgetting. That's all right. I'll make a, I'll make a trip over there off camera, um, in between videos for sure. I knew I wasn't going to be able to bring over th everything over in the first one, but not bringing the nail gun was a, was a big mistake, actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, we're going to leave them. We're going to leave them alone. Let them come to us. We don't, we don't got no time for this. We got to get some spikes down. Because I will get a forge up as soon as I can, but that's going to mean screamers. And we have to be ready for the screamers. We have to we have to have spikes up for them to get killed. And then this is going to be a reinforced concrete like badass base. Um, again, I could I could restore the base with the blocks that it already has, but they're, they're so weak, and I don't want to make weak. I don't want to use weak blocks just for the hell of it. 
I don't really see much point in that. I'd rather turn the zombies up, make them more difficult, and force me to make tougher, tougher blocks. Uh, I'm still up in the air. I wonder if I want to uh, allow repairs during Horde Night. Probably not. Probably not. I'm thinking. I, I'm thinking. I might not. It depends on what what I can get done by Horde Night. If I don't feel like this is ready, then I will allow myself to repair. All right. So I don't want to deal with this. Let's take this out. All right, man. These stairs. These stairs are sometimes like you know when you first come here. If, if you like, you're gonna live here right off the bat. These stairs take forever. Oh, I love my pickaxe. Look at this thing. This thing's a beast. I should name my pickaxe. Name my pickaxe. Big Daddy. Big Daddy Pickaxe. Yeah. I like that. That's that's it. That's it. Big Daddy Pickaxe. Okay. And we do this. Looking good. Uh, I can't believe I didn't bring my, my nail gun. I'm definitely going to... I'm going to go home. Basically what we'll do is we'll spend the rest of the video here during the day repairing. Uh, I'll probably repair some off camera. And then I'll spend the night up there, and then in the morning I'll make a trip back. And then I'll, c I'll come back out here and start the next video out here with my nail gun. Probably a few other knickknacks. This is actually pretty quick. It's not terrible, it's just, you know. Look at that zombie in the tree. You catching this? Look at this. Look at this guy. Look at this freaking guy. Dude, you are... You got problems, man. You got pro... And I don't mean just that you're dead. I mean, you got some serious issues. Okay. Alright. Start going this way. My allergies have been killing me today. Oh, they just been terrible. It's been it's been crazy in real life, man. It's been like it's been hot, it's been cold, starting to get warm again. And my allergies like have just been killing me all day. They're they they do not feel too bad right now, but I've got a major headache from the allergies. Ugh. I don't normally get headaches either. Alright, there you go. Oh yeah. We're gonna leave that open for now. Man, I don't remember the Hub City being this quiet. This is... This is eerily quiet, guys. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, I'm on max zombie spawn. You know? I'm on survivor... Survival... Dif survivor difficulty. Half block durability. Oh, that's another reason those stairs are so easy to break out. Half block durability. Fair enough. Fair enough, my friends. Uh, should I plug this up now? I don't see why not. I can plug this up now. The thing is, we gotta wait for this to dry, and I don't want any zombies beating on it until it is dry. But I think we'll be okay. Okay. I miss my nail gun. I can't believe I forgot it. I don't have any concrete on us. We got to get that. I didn't realize I didn't have any concrete on me. But that is all right. We'll be all right. It's going to be okay. Leave me alone, jerk ass. Get wrecked, son. Boom! Stun damage! Stun damage! That's what it'd be like if this was a doom game all right remember guys we have to wait for this concrete to dry that's one of the benefits of using concrete blocks instead of uh instead of the frames the good part about using the frames is it uses half the concrete you use a little bit more iron but you use like half the concrete i really like it and a little bit more wood but wood's easy to get Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I'm wrecked. I wrecked you, spikes. Wow, we've, we've already got a row of spikes around. That didn't even take long. Very cool. 
very cool. Oh, we're out of iron. Nah, we got more iron. I don't know where it is, but I know I have more. Eh, we should break that up. Nah, whatever. Leave it there for now. I'm not really that concerned. I'd like to get everything out of here I can, to be perfectly honest. Because I'm afraid of this thing disappearing again on me. Um, Alright, that's pretty good. I think the rest of the iron is up top. I'm pretty sure I brought more iron. I, I hope I did. Pretty sure I did. Got some plans for this place. Gonna use iron bars uh, to shoot through. No pillar 50s. No pillar 50s. We're just gonna use iron bars and uh, just regular concrete walls. There we go. I knew I had some more up there. Let's uh, put some of this stuff away. Normally I'd like to cut this off camera, but I knew that this would be quick. See? 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 That was quick. Told you. <laughs> Pretty quick. Not too quick, but quick. Uh, let's make some ladders. Uh, I don't know, like 14 sounds good. Because we're going to lock this place up tight. We are going to lock this place up, but good. Alright, I don't want to get up there. This seems like a pretty good spot. Alright, so let's do this. That should be good. And then we can use this to get up there. Should be okay. Put that right there for something. To... Yeah, that'll be fine. Alright, let's get to work. Let's seal this up completely. Wow, we're actually going to get a lot done on the first day. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. We made more, pro we made more progress than I, I thought I was going to. Although, if you don't have to farm the materials or anything, I guess, you know, it's easy to make this kind of progress. Whoops. Tell you what, I won't go out of my way to upgrade these walls. How about that? I will not build the entire base out of these walls. These are called concrete trim or something like that what are they called trim concrete trim two block i won't make the whole base out of the concrete trim two block but i'll make you the deal that i won't replace it i'll wait for the zombies to break it down before i replace it so if there's some of that concrete two trim block on horde night then i gotta deal with it i probably won't allow repairing either just let the zombies break in who cares what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna knock out the stairs so they can't get to all my supplies uh, so now I'll put another one over here. We actually have a lot more spikes than I thought. This building's not that big. This is a good choice to live here, by the way. Um, you know, you could live in one of the other bigger buildings, but number one, I've done that before. Uh, I don't remember what season, but I lived in one of those. I, like, refurbished one of those buildings. I think it was that, the one that looks like that. Um, and it was a lot of fun, but the thing is, it takes a lot of time. And I don't think we're going to have the time in this Let's Play to do anything really that big. So I picked something that, I, you know... Could be interesting, but not, like, too much. So I can, you know, just deal with it. You know what? If I die, I'm not going to respawn here. I just realized. Let me put down a bed. Uh, let me punch some grass. Get a, get some of this grass. Punch that grass. Punch it! Punch it! Alright. There we go. Alright. Puncher. All right, bedroll, bedroll. Let's put down a bedroll. We are getting hot, so let's switch out our thing and let's. Uh, where do we put that ladder? There it is. Alrighty then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is going. Uh, this is going surprisingly well. All right, so let's put down the bedroll. We're gonna grab some. Uh, we're gonna grab some barbed wire fence. We're gonna grab some regular barbed wire. We're gonna make some more barbed wire. I don't need 200, 200 whatever. Let's make another 50 for now. Um, we probably should start a mine tonight as well. Uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I, I think the, the bottom of this base is pretty secure. Uh, where are all the zombies, dude? Like, this is the hub city. I mean, WTF, right? Alright, well, whatever. I'm sure they'll come eventually. Maybe I killed them all. Maybe I've uh, wiped out the zombie plague single-handedly. 
you know? I should get some kind of, like, plaque or something. Uh, let's take down this tree, because it's kind of in my way. And let's take out this corpse as well. And let's put down some barbed wire. Okay. Whoops. Didn't want to do that. I'm going to have to break that up. That I actually want to, like... I can't leave that barbed wire down there because I actually want to put something else there. And then we put down standing barbed wire. And then we put down another set of spikes. This side's solid. If they come at me on this side, they're gonna be, <laughs> they're gonna be sorry, right? I mean, uh, go get the wrench. the first part of this setup the first part is actually the barbed wire so I should put the barbed wire down okay damn it we'll leave that one there someone was asking can you put the barbed wire laying flat on the ground and does it work um, I've never used it, but I know you can. You can put the barbed wire flat on the ground. I just choose not to use it. By the way, if you are playing seven, if you are playing Seven Days to Die Starvation mod, like I am, this right here is what the is what the um, radiated areas look like in the uh, in the hub city. So, and then these and on the map there are these little red things. So if you come to the hub city in Starvation mod, uh, make sure you don't walk over that. Man, these zombies are going to be sorry they let me set up. They're not doing anything. Like, you're gonna rue the day, my friends. All right, I need to. I need to start setting up. Uh, setting up up top. Let's go set up up top. I need to. Uh, I need to get a shovel. Is what I really need. So let me come around here. I think this is where my ladder is. There it is. So let's get on up there. Get up here. And we will put down the... Oh, where is everything? Oh, there's the forge. Okay. And then I'll put down the cement mixer. Whoops. There we go. And let's go empty out that... Uh, let's go empty out the... The bike. And then we will call it a video. How's that sound? Actually, I'll probably just stay inside for the rest of the day until nighttime, so. Not much else to do out here uh, just yet. I wonder if it always rains in the hub city. Oh, damn it. Scrap that. Take that. Okay. Now, if the mini bike disappears, I'm going to spawn the parts back in. Because <laughs> it's, you know, I actually, I actually um, use those parts from stuff I had. I made the parts, I used the engine, I actually went out and got tires. But if it happens again, I'm going to spawn them in. Because that, that's just irritating. Okay. Alright guys, I am going to cut this one here. I will see you next time. Until then, take it easy.